Here's a little quick tip for you. If you need a gate for your barn or anywhere, and you don't want to run to town or spend the money to buy a proper gate, and you've got a cattle panel laying around, or some type of livestock panel, this is one with four by four squares. All you gotta do is cut it in half, or not half, but cut it in two pieces, about uh, two thirds on one side and a third on the other. Get you some fence staples. Hammer in one side to the wooden post. If you notice, the, they're not hammered all the way down. You wanna give it room so the gate can swing open. And then on the other end, in our case, we had chicken wire over here. So we just left some of the, um, we didn't cut off all of the um, pieces of the fence. We didn't cut it off clean. We left them long and just stuck them through there to hold them immobile. Drove a T-post to have a stop, you know, actually fixed the fence on there with T-post clips. And then, we use a bungee cord to, to hold the gate shut. Now that gate is shut, can't open. So in order to get in it, all I have to do is come down here and undo the bottom one like that. And then basically just lift up on the gate and it opens. To close it, all I have to do is lift it up, make sure that that top one gets caught on there. Come down here to the bottom one, and latch it shut, and Blue can't get in the barn. Huh, Blue? Blue can't get in the barn. So that's a nice little inexpensive, actually it didn't cost us anything as far as, well I mean it, at one time or another we had to buy that panel, but since we had it on the farm it didn't cost any new money. We made a serviceable gate out of material that was on hand. And it works like a charm. Because Blue can't get in the barn. Oh, blue is sad. All right, thanks.